so I'm just sitting outside by the lake by my apartment complex it's peaceful just been doing a lot of thinking and I've been thinking a lot about what's going on in Israel I feel really bad for the people over there right now oh, all the women and children and men and everybody who's getting hurt who's getting killed I can't imagine the pain and the sadness of what they're going through. This world is getting crazy. It's it's really making me think about a lot of things. It's making me want to prepare for a lot of things. Um, I haven't made a video about this, but... I bought 10 acres of land in Arizona about a month ago, well, a month, month or two months ago, and I bought it specifically because eventually I want to get off grid within the year or two at the most two years, I want to be off grid completely and just get away from the city, get away from everybody and just live off the land, grow my own food and, you know, just have solar power, just be self-sufficient. That's what's been on my mind for the past year. And the first step I had to do was buy land. I know it's going to be a lot of work, but you know, with everything that's happening right now, it's really making me wonder whether if I should do it sooner now. There's a lot of things I got to get prepared for for me and my family because I got to really honestly think, and all of us should think about that. What happens if we did have another war here? Look at all the people that are coming into this country illegally. By the hundreds, by the thousands. I mean, that's a lot of people. And it makes me wonder why. Normally, I don't follow politics ever in my life. But I've been really paying close attention to the news lately. And... It's just, it's getting depressing. It really is. It's really waking me up to a lot of things that I need to get prepared for, that we should all get prepared for, that we should be ready for anything to happen. You know, I hope that one day we don't go and see what Israel is seeing right now and I hope it doesn't happen on this land and that terrifies me because I'm not even ready I'm not even prepared I'm holding on to faith you know I just I Life seems really chaotic right now. And normally I come out here to where I'm at right now. And it's really peaceful. I find peace here. I can sit here and I can pray. I can talk to God about anything and I find peace. Outside the sun's out. You know, 
with what's going on in the world. It really makes me grateful for everything that I do have. You know, I may not have a lot of money in the world. And I may not have hardly anything, but we have a roof over our head. We have food. We have our health. And that's all that matters. All the money in the world. All the fancy things, the fancy clothes, the fancy cars, the fancy houses. Honestly, none of that matters. None of that matters. Your family, your relationship with God, or whatever faith you believe in, is what matters. Really believe we are living in the last days with everything that's happening it kind of you know opens up my eyes and it strengthens my face my faith but it also help, helps me to see what I need to do as well and the things in my life that I need to correct. Today is such a beautiful day. The breeze feels good. The sun feels good. We're finally getting out of the triple digits. The weather's getting cooler. You know, praise God for that. I was having a hard time surviving those high digits. I'm not used to the weather anymore. But look at this view that I got right now. Yeah, so that's that's what I'm just doing. I'm just sitting here on this grass area by this tree here and I'm just talking to you guys and uh, just enjoying the solitude, the peace, the quietness away from everybody. It feels good. You know, I I'm not really sure why I made this video or why I'm sharing it, but I like to share things on more of a personal note with you guys. I know there's a lot of things that I don't share with you guys that's going on in my life because I know there are certain people that watch my channel and I have to be careful with that, but um, I don't mind sharing things with you with things like this. But I just wanted to come on here and talk with you guys. But I hope you guys have a blessed day. And we will see you in the next video.